Hello and welcome. Skillet coming to you from the cockpit of our Chimera. Uh, let's talk. Let's talk about out-of-system fleets. Now, in front of us, we have the Tokyo. The Terran Tokyo. Now, last, uh, last uh, let's talk with the Xenon. I mentioned that uh, the Terrans will be coming into the universe sometime soon. Well, now they're here. And I have pirated myself a Tokyo, along with two Gladiuses and a Kukri. But with the, with the capture of the, the Tokyo, I now have the ability to project uh, my strength in other sectors, which got me thinking about out-of-sector fighting. Now, we've kind of mentioned this a, a, maybe a, a, a few videos a, a before. But out-of-sector fighting, it's a different algorithm for when you're in sector. You have to think. Now, out-of-sector guns have a 100% hit rate. And turrets, well, depending on the size of the ship, get a larger roll of the dice, right? The larger the ship, the more of a chance they have to hit. Um, I have some missiles on the Tokyo, and everything else is actually beams, I believe. But that's fine. That's fine for, for the Tokyo. But what about projecting the individual ships? The little fighter craft. I began to think... Now, we've used the Nodan before. Uh, many, many videos ago, when we fought the Vigor Syndicate. And... Yeah. We still have a good portion of that fleet left, actually. We also have the, the pirated craft from Zyarth. We've got asps, chimeras, dragons. But when I came down to think of it, I want a uniform fleet, right? I want a uniform force. So I was thinking, what other ship can we possibly use? Something that might be a little heavy hitting, but also cheap. So cheap, I could just pump these things out. In the background over there is my wharf and shipyard. I have the capability. What can I make to pump these out? So then I started thinking. We've used the Nodan before, so Nodan's a good one. And then Pulsar. The Pulsar, there are six... Six weapon slots. Yes, its hull is measly. The Nodans are decent. They are faster. The Vanguard's more maneuverable, has more hull. It's just two weapon slots. Now, I remember losing quite a few Nodans um, when I fought the Vigor Syndicate. But the Vigors are quite more numerous than I think any other faction other than the Xenon at this point in my universe. I don't think in any other universe the Vigors are less prevalent. I mean, you go to their sector, that's all That's all it is. It's just fighter craft, fighter craft, fighter craft, big waves of it. So the Pulsar. How I have these set up, I have the, I got two Bison Lances there, because Bison Lances out of sector are heavy hitting, destroying machines. But in the off chance that I'm in sector, the algorithm changes. So, with that being said, what I also have done is thermal disintegrators, because these should still have a good chance. They bleed through shields, and they take down that hull faster more of a chance where the Pulsar could possibly survive in Sector, but also be a big dominant force out of Sector. And then when it came to the Nodans, I just took... Oh, here we go. I just took the two different versions, right? The Vanguard and the Sentinel. If push comes to shove, I would most likely do the Vanguard, because the Vanguard... For me, speed is key. In, in any game, it, I always want to be, I want to get there, I want to hit hard, I want to get out. Kind of a boom and zoom. But I also can turn fight, 
you know, with the asp is a very, very excellent craft, along with the mamba, by the way. Chimeras, eh, it hits real hard. That's all. It just hits hard. But when it came down to, to deciding what I did, how can we pump these out? Let's see here. Small ship. Let's go... Let's take a look at the Nodan Sentinel. The chassis. Super cheap. 69 energy cells, 86 hull parts. That's the Sentinel. The Vanguard? 56, 70. Super cheap. Yes, I can pump these out for days. Provided I have everything else. Pulsar. 48 energy cells, 105 hull parts. For something that has less... I don't want to say hit points, but we can just say hit points. Hit points. I don't see I don't I don't I don't see why it costs that 105. I think it should actually be less, but whatever. Whatever. And then I thought about, well, okay, well we do have we do have chimeras. What's the chimera? A 92 and 317. That was automatically right off the book, right? No, we're not we're not doing a chimera. Yes, it's got five gun slots, but guess what? I'm not... There's no way. What about the Asp? 69, 239. Still, I can't keep pumping these out. These are, these are costs. So, what we're going to do... What we're going to do is we're going to build a fleet. We're going to build a fleet with the Tokyo with the Nodan Vanguard. We're going to come out with another video with these out-of-sector fighting. We're going to put these to the test. This is just going to be one video in more of a kind of a three-part Let's Talk series of outer-sector fighting and fighter craft. We're going to start with the Nodan Vanguard. And I hope you guys enjoy the video. We are going to get more into detail about things in the later videos and see some combat. Maybe. If I'm in sector. Out of sector, in sector, we'll see both. But this is going to be Skillet signing off for now. Hope you have a wonderful morning, evening. Have a great day.